Hello you guys, welcome back to another apartment moving video. Honestly, who would have guessed this series has taken so long? This has 100% been the longest like moving process I have ever had. That's not necessarily like my choice, but it just is what it is. I feel like I've been crazy busy. I had school and then all of a sudden I'm like thrown into my coaching. I'm coaching two different ski teams right now. The apartment has been the thing that has been put on the back burner. I officially have three weeks until I start school again and I am determined to get this apartment in order. So we need to do some stuff because this is really bothering me and I'm really ready for things to start to be set up. I thought I would give you guys a little bit of update in this video and then take you guys along because my dad and I are gonna go do some shopping. We kind of go in with the expectation that we're not gonna find something because you just never know. The problems that we're trying to solve are so specific that I may not find exactly what I'm looking for. We are waiting on the TV stand. I don't think I ever gave the full story. If you watched my What I Got For Christmas video, you will have known that my wonderful father got me a TV stand for Christmas. They were on it. I had sent them like a handful of pictures and they had picked one of the pictures and been like, oh, that's cute. Like, let's get it. The more I sat and thought about what that TV stand would look like and if that's what I really wanted, I started having doubts. If I've learned anything about this moving process is if you do not love it the second you buy it, you're probably not gonna love it for a very long time. And I was like, I don't wanna waste the money. Problem with that original TV stand, I'm gonna put a picture of the original one that we got is there's like two holes in the middle of it and those are just kind of like some things that you have to decorate and buy little books to look cute there but they weren't super functional and i'm like what i need right now is more storage i do a lot of activities i have a lot of books i have a lot of decorations i'm like the party planner i have a lot of stuff so i need a place to put that so that everything has a home and looks really neat and i think that's the key to making an apartment that looks clean and can be kept clean. I went from that media stand to the website. I found a sideboard version, which basically has more storage. So I'm gonna put that picture right here. And it has two cabinets and three drawers, which is amazing. And it was the same exact width. It was just a little bit taller. I decided to do a little exchange, but this company is based out of Hawaii. And so they drive their truck up with the furniture like once a week. So it's a little bit complicated. And this piece was a little bit on back order. Obviously you guys know the ship stuff right now is crazy we're still waiting on that hopefully it will come in the next like week and a half and i can actually organize it because right now these bins are all stuff for my desk and a bunch of decor and things that i also haven't hung up my shelves or wanted to hang anything up because i'm waiting on so many different pieces because i'm also waiting on a desk a desk chair a chair that goes right here in front a lamp and a rug there's a lot that we're waiting on right now and i think it's going to come together really quickly but it just requires some patience so the only thing i've kind of decorated is what you guys are sitting on right now which is my shelf today's problem that we're going to try to solve is the lighting in the living room problem i've said this from the very beginning this room has no light in it it makes me so mad because my bedroom has partially exposed ceiling as well and there is an overhead light on the concrete so why they couldn't have done that here i will never understand right here behind me i have my little table and chair set where i like to eat at night it is so dark i I cannot see the food I'm eating, it's terrible. So we are going to look for some sort of hanging light to go over there, hopefully illuminate the area. I've kind of toyed with two different ideas. One idea being a hanging light. The other idea that I've been toying with is the idea of a sconce. Initially I was thinking maybe I would do two sconces like on either end of the couch, but now I'm thinking maybe one sconce and I figured out a way to make them battery operated so that there would be no cord. Like you could just take an ordinary sconce that you would like hook up to the hardware behind the wall and you could fit them with a puck light that has a remote and then use that as a battery operated light. My dad's kind of like, I don't know, you're clearly gonna be running this thing for hours. Like as soon as the sun goes down, you're gonna want the lights on. So he thinks that it's just gonna be like a waste of my time if I'm running through these batteries. Kind of are thinking if we do the sconce thing, then we're just gonna hardwire it and have the cord come down and figure out a way to make it look clean. Those are our two ideas. We're gonna go and see if we get any inspiration at all from Ikea. There's still a lampshade out rejuvenation that I had my eyes on. It's actually green. It matches my bar cart right here. I may go back and get it. The lampshade itself was on sale, but it was $75. So I wasn't really like willing to spend that much money at the time, but I'm kind of like, if that's my only 
option and I have spent weeks now trying to figure out other plans and nothing is coming through like why wouldn't I just buy the stupid lampshade and then piece this light together and have something that I really like we do have two more updates for you guys before we go the silverware drawer everyone I feel like is invested this silverware drawer has been going through it the drawers in my kitchen are eight and a half inches wide and most organizers go by three inch increments so it's been extremely hard to figure out what to put in the store but your girl figured out a solution in the last video I was like oh my god these things don't fit because I wanted them to go this way but this was too wide so I had them like this and then I found these from Target yes they're three inches but they're super flexible so I could squeeze them into the side of the drawer and it worked it just looked terrible like if I can find a picture I'm gonna put a picture on the screen here the solution is this bamboo thing I'm gonna take this with us because then you'll understand my ski stuff is literally all over because it needed to dry and I didn't know how to deal with it when I got home at like 10 30 last night so yeah she's going over there she looks gorgeous, she looks normal. You will probably have never guessed that anything weird was ever with her. So this was one of those expandable drawer things. So this piece sat in here and then the whole point, this is from Target by the way, I'm gonna link it down below. It's by the Threshold brand. The only complicated part of this project, you can see it was attached to this little piece and that's how it would slide back and forth, but I needed to detach it. So I had Doug um, take his saw and basically slice this piece of the drawer out. So then this was now removable and it fits literally perfectly inside here. It's a little bit short. I may end up putting something back there so it doesn't slide back and forth like this. It looks like a normal drawer now and now I'm gonna save this for some sort of other organizational purpose when I get my TV stand. And then the last thing that also was an issue if you guys have been following along the series has been this storage closet. Um, I don't really want to show it to you right now because it's a literal mess, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek It's this little entryway closet situation I'm gonna insert the clip of how I figured out the solution to this problem because I filmed it many weeks ago Flashback to Kiara a couple weeks ago solving that problem because my old cabinet did not fit in there And you guys were really creative and you were like turn it on its side and push it in But that old cabinet was not gonna go in there. It was too tall and it wasn't a really good use of the space Space. So I figured out a great solution and here it is you guys last night We had quite the successful ordering spree. Hopefully you guys we will have solved the closet organization problem We finally will have a place for my bins We got this wonderful threshold four cube storage I decided to get it not in white because as you can see it's a nice little contrast with the white bins that I already have I think this color kind of matches the same vibe as my kitchen so I'm excited about it You guys, I am so done with this closet. I literally tested like a piece of this to see if it would fit and I thought it would. And it cleared like this part, which is really wide, but now it won't go in any farther, which basically means that I have to disassemble this and then reassemble it in the closet. I wonder if there's any other way I can get it in. So close. We're getting creative. I'm so determined not to rebuild this in here. Okay, I'm gonna try to take off the top. Woo, we did it! All right, it's in. Now we just have to touch the side. It's gonna be a little difficult at this angle, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna make it happen. You guys, that was one of the most difficult pieces of furniture I've ever had to instruct. I had to literally sit in there with the whole thing on my knees and then blindly crank the Allen wrench to tighten the screws. But it does look great. There's a little spot where this can slide into. I'm 
I'm really glad we've solved a couple of our problems here and I feel like we're gonna keep going. We're gonna solve more of them. We're gonna fix this light situation. It's gonna be good. Hopefully we find something good today or at least get some sort of inspiration. Like your price range here. What is it? Thirteen dollars. <laughs> Perfect. I, I can make a mount on the ceiling to hook that thing up. And I could spray paint it that green, green color, color if I found I'll it. I'll paint the thing. It'll look really good. Should we take a picture? Okay. I feel like that's nice. I could store stuff, and if I don't use it, like I don't know, find a different purpose. Or do I go for a smaller one? But I don't know if they have different colors of this. I don't really want gray. Yeah, I rather have tan. I should have gotten a cart. What if this lights up more because I don't have a shade over it with just the light on the bottom? Like the light goes everywhere. Bulbs don't put out a lot of light. Bulbs would look pretty cool. No, but I, I, yeah, I feel like I would need like an Edison light bulb. Like that, that doesn't put out yeah, a lot of light. Don't put out a lot of light. I would put, I would get something brighter. Then you have the problem of it's so glaring. Like that's even glaring to me. Really? That's, it. that's why they put this on there. Look at, that doesn't irritate your eye. Like yeah. look at that. You put a brighter one, it's gonna get worse. The silver's so ugly. I don't like the colors. I don't like the yellow. No, that looks like if I was seven. I don't hate this thing. I just don't know if it would be like too big. It looks a little big for the space. I can always put it up white and then if I, 70, oh, yeah, I know. Maybe 200 bucks by the time you're Right, this is like 40. It's very. It's a dark green one, it'll different shape. No, I don't like the shape as much. I feel like this is cooler than, this is the other light that we saw first. That looks kind of cheap to me. That's not my favorite thing ever, but for forty dollars to be done, this one it just looks more expensive. It neat. looks nicer. Because that's a wood on top. Yeah. How much is it? Twenty nine. 29? It's cheaper. Perfect. I hope they have a white one. It's hard to tell if this is the white or not. Process pendant lamp beige, birch. I think beige birch. Yeah. Uh oh. It may be out of stock. I'm gonna see if we can order it, but I hate that there's no service in here. Like you just get in here and you're stuck. All right, you guys, we made it home. So unfortunately they did not have the white lampshade that I wanted. They do have it online. I'm gonna order it up right now so that hopefully it can come here in like the next week and then we can start working on it. And then I also got these nice little lidded containers. I don't know, hopefully I like them and use them. I think I will once my desk comes, then I'll like store books and things in them and they can just be stacked neatly underneath my desk. And they were a lot less expensive than what I was initially looking at. We love a good budget-friendly shopping spree. <laughs> but yes, I will talk to you guys when we are working on more apartment stuff. My my friends and I are getting takeout tonight and I have like an hour and a half until I have to leave for that. So I'm just gonna probably chill here, reply to some emails, take a little nap, and I'll talk to you very soon.